Lottie Brinks. Lottie Brinks, All right. you get up Come here. Come on up here. Cockle doodle doo, have a great shred. Did you see her, the work that she did for her, yes, her next I did. patch? You are multi-talented. Yeah, I know. I was saying that I want yes. you to make me a laser cut dress. I can. Yes. Can you really? I have to find She's amazing. <laughs> multi-talented, multi-faceted, incredibly fast. Yes, Lottie inter Brinks. introducing our guest. This is Lottie Brinks, last year's second place finisher in the Gorge 100K. She just won our other race, the Big Alts of 50K in February. And here she is back for another run at the 100K tomorrow. One of our Yay. favorites. Welcome, Lottie. Good to see you. I'm really excited to be here. I love this race. I'm excited to do it again. What brought you back? Just that you knew it was going to be a beautiful, sunshiny weekend. I, well, last year it was not so sunshiny, which I honestly kind of loved because last year was the first time I've ever really been to the Pacific Northwest. And I felt like I got the real, like, rainy, wet Pacific Northwest. And it I was thought it real. was cool. <laughs> but I'm glad for, I'm glad that we have nice weather tomorrow. Yeah. It'll be nice and sunny, maybe a little hot. Oh. You and I got to run uh, at least like five miles or so together at the Big Alta. Tell us where you are, like how that race sort of kicked off your season, where where you've been in terms of training and uh, stuff. Because it was a super impressive start to the season, I have to say. I really love that yeah. race. Um, I, I mean, I have stayed stayed this year, and I kind of wanted to a like get good speed and you know do some shorter races. I did Big Alta. And then I also did a like faster half marathon like two weeks ago, just a, like a local trail half marathon. But I also really wanted to remind my body that I can run for a really long time. Because <laughs> 100 miles is a long time. And if you only do shorter races before that, it's, it's nice to remind yourself that you can do it. And that's part of the reason why I signed up again. And the other reason is just that I just love the course. Yeah. I just really liked the race last year. And I don't usually ever do races twice at least i haven't really before and i think it's kind of exciting because now i can kind of you know chase myself and chase my time from last year and try to improve it and that's also exciting to me awesome. yeah and you'll have some really amazing women <laughs> yeah. to chase as well the women's 100k which we'll preview i think it's a race of the weekend bit. yeah it is yeah. so good yeah, yeah. It's really i good. think they're gonna push me really hard yeah. <laughs> Which is good because that means I probably will break my time from last year. Yeah, I think what's really impressive too. So you won the Grindstone 100K back in the fall to get that golden ticket into Western States, which we are so excited to see you finally run that race in June. We talked to Lauren a little bit about kind of her build from Black Canyon towards Western States. You are also building towards Western States. We're kind of mid-April right now. You've got a nice like lead, like lead up now into Western States at the very end of June. Yeah. Talk about how this 100K effort is really kind of the, the jumping off point for this next training block. I think the next training block is probably going to be uh, more specific towards states. It's kind of nice that this race, it, it is starting to get a little warmer. I get to, you know, feel the sun on my skin. There are some uh, good climate climbs here. There are some good rocky sections, kind of like the high country here. It's not necessarily the same, but I feel like this race is going to set me up well to jump into the next block. And uh, I'm honestly not entirely sure yet what I'm going to do, which is why it's <laughs> nice to have a coach. <laughs> like, uh, I coached myself most of last year and I had to plan everything. And now I'm like, well, I, I just trust Tyler to do whatever he does and I just, you know, execute. Who's your coach? Tyler Green. Tyler Green is coaching you. Yeah, I didn't I even just know saw that. Him a little bit ago. That's so exciting. Yeah. What a great coach. Is yeah. that fairly new? Um, as of December. Wow. Yeah. All right. So then maybe backing up a step and going a little bit more meta is like, as Corinne said, you won Grindstone. You mm -hmm. won the Big Alta. You were second here at Gord. I mean, you've been solid, like those of us in the sport know Lottie mm -hmm. Brinks, but it feels to me like, you know, you're sort of emerging into you know, that next category, does it feel that way to you? Or how do you think about where you are in your career right now? And, you yeah. know, especially going into Western States, if anything changes psychologically. I, I think last year was pretty big for me because 2022 was really rough. <laughs> like, I just had really a yeah. lot of bad races. And 2023, I kind of got out of that funk somehow. And I feel like it, it did help that I just coached myself for a while and that I just kind of willy-nilly like went for runs every yeah. day and that kind of got me out of like overthinking it 
But now that I had a couple good races under my belt, I kind of wanted to get more serious about it again and still have a lot of fun, but fun with structure. I was like, I remember watching you run Havelina, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Was that 2021? 2022? The 100 mile. The 100 yeah. mile was 2021. Yeah, was I was there. And I remember course. yelling at you and yelling at Tessa Chesser because it was kind of uh-huh. close going into that last lap. Um, I historically think of you as this like really fast runner, like a flatter ground, Havelina, um, like Rocky Raccoon style mm-hmm. runner, can jump into a half marathon and rip a really good time. Talk a little bit about, I know you've moved to Boise. Mm-hmm. Talk a little bit about kind of honing that athleticism into being more of a well-rounded mountain runner. I think the move to Boise helped a ton with my running career. And it's, A, it's because now I actually get bird and I have endless trails to play around. Because you moved from Austin, Texas, right? Yeah. yeah. So Austin has good trails. Like I, I love the city. It's a really fun city, but... The trails are all within little parks. They're all within like state parks. They have like one big loop around the lake, which is just like a bike path, really. So it's there's not as much variety, and there are also just not as many trail runners. Period. So I feel like the move in Boise uh, to Boise helped me both in just the running in the terrain, but also that I have so many people to run with now, and so many people to push me, and so many people to you know, have a good time with, that it just, like, brings everything to a whole nother level. Yeah, steel, steel sharp and steel. I was going to ask you yeah. to say a little bit more about that because it does feel like Boise's really ascendant or, like, there's just a really good group of runners. There was a huge group at the Big Alta, you it guys was so fun. There was a ton of Boise runners in the 30K today. I'm sure mm-hmm. you have some other friends here. So talk a little bit about that community. I noticed that you posted, too, that there was some – fun get together among the trail running oh, community yeah. recently we had a so fleet feet meridian mm. which my friend megan owns who is a really fast sub ultra mountain runner they put on um a showing of the trail film fest and uh, it was just a really like fun event where we watched movies and had a good time together but like the boise trail running community is very like i wouldn't say i don't know which is very low key but excited about it yeah. you know like we're not like yeah it's just a, always a really fun group and everyone is always down for an adventure it's not necessarily like super structured or anything but there are a lot of good runners there and they're all really down to have a good time and right. to just like be out there I was say independent of how tomorrow goes we're gonna talk you into coming back for a third running next year right yeah for sure yeah. come on <laughs> done <Yeah>. done deal <laughs> love it Maybe building off something that Corinne said a second ago, you are the type of athlete that has a lot of range. You know, you can run a fast half marathon. You're really good at 50K. You've done longer races, 100Ks, 100, 100 milers. Where do you view your biggest strength right now? And, and maybe what do you enjoy most? I, I love the 100K distance. Yeah. I think that's my favorite. 50K is kind of stress me out because <laughs> you have to go so fast the whole entire time, but it's still a long way to go. The half marathon I did the other day was even more stressful. Yeah, <laughs> um, I feel that. I really love it. It's like a really fun rush of adrenaline, but it's just stressful, yeah. you know. And a hundred k is is still like you still have a day, you know. You still have that feeling of just being out there and having a day, but you don't have to like do all that excessive planning and logistics of a hundred miler. And that's why I love the hundred k. Anything else from you? I mean, as a, as a, I guess my last question maybe, and Yasin, if you're watching or listening, sorry she doesn't choose you. As a repeat, a repeat 100K runner here, the A stations are pretty proud of themselves on this course. They really, they really <laughs> show up in full force with the broth boys last year. Yasin is like getting a chocolate fountain out of his garage. Ooh. The chocolate fountain fountain at I'm Cascade sure. Locks Aid Station. So, Ginger ale and yeah, champagne so, flutes. So I guess the yeah. question is. Shout out again, to uh, the Wise Wolf Pack, I have to say. Yeah, so the, the question is, is there a favorite aid station for tomorrow, or are you going to be judging them pretty critically? I mean, uh, I know that Yasin's aid station is going to be great, yeah. but I hear there's a cowgirl aid station. There is, yeah. And Which one is that? Wakala. Ha- Shout hard, out to cowgirl. Yeah, yeah. Hard, hard to fight the cowgirl folks. Yeah, yeah. yeah got to give it to the cowgirl folks. That's for sure. Sweet. From one herd to another. <laughs> well, Lottie... 
Good luck to you tomorrow. Thank We're you. rooting for you. Thank you for coming to our race. It's so great to have you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, awesome. Sweet. Big round of applause for Lottie Briggs. Thank you guys. Good experience.